Hi folks, it's Ron. Today I'd like to talk to you about the 61-501 receptacle tester brought to you by Ideal Industries and we're a leading manufacturer of circuit analyzers and circuit testers. Now electrical contractors and inspectors have relied on receptacle testers for checking the electrical wiring at an outlet like this one for many years now. And they're really easy to use and I'm sure many electrical contractors that might be watching have probably used one in their lifetime. Now the Ideal 61501 provides a quick indication that faulty wiring may be present at a 120 volt three wire receptacle. Now it has a non-slip ergonomic design for maximum comfort and it has bright bulbs on it to give a clear indication of the wiring under a variety of uh, lighting conditions and a tough impact resistant case. Now simply plug the tester into an electrical outlet and the tester's bright indicating bulbs will light to indicate correct polarity if the circuit's wired properly or it'll indicate a wiring error such as an open ground or a reverse polarity among other circuit faults it'll point out. Now it's a great way of quickly identifying wiring errors at electrical outlets inside of a building. Now here I have a receptacle tester plugged into an electrical outlet that's actually wired properly. And as you can see the three bulbs on the tester, the two on the right are lit up. Now looking at the legend on the tester this indicates uh, actually correct wiring. Now next to each condition on the legend it'll explain what the different bulb combinations mean and a white dot represents a bulb that's not lit up. Now reverse polarity or a reversal of the hot and neutral conductors is indicated by just the left red bulb and the middle bulb lit on the tester. When the receptacle tester sees a hot and ground conductor reverse the left red bulb and the far right bulb are lit up. And an open hot in a circuit will not light any of the bulbs on the tester at all. And if you have an open neutral, only the far right bulb will light up, indicating a condition that probably needs to be addressed. And for an open ground, only the center bulb is lit, and the other two will remain unlit. Now, be sure to always test on a known live circuit before using it to confirm that the unit is actually operating properly. And make sure you compare the illuminated bulbs to the legend correctly to interpret the wiring condition that it's indicating to you. Now, a few words of caution, folks, about receptacle testers, and that is receptacle testers are simple, inexpensive, and very useful, but you also have to be aware of their limitations, too. And that's generally true with all types of receptacle testers you see out in the market, not just the ideal 61501. And that is that this type of tester can't tell you anything about the quality of the electrical connections behind the walls. Now, it doesn't take much power to light the little bulbs up. So it may show you that the polarity is correct, but it can't tell you if there's a very high resistance connection behind the walls. Like you might find if a, a bad connection is made behind the wall or not terminated properly. And even a very poor connection, if it's wired to the correct hot, neutral, and ground conductor, it's going to cause this little tester to light up. Now, to test the quality of the electrical connections under a load, please look at our 61-164 SureTest circuit analyzer here. It'll actually do that job for you. And also, receptacle testers cannot tell you if the ground and neutral are swapped or if there's what they call a bootleg uh, ground is somewhere in that circuit. And also, the tester can't diagnose more than two missed wire issues with the outlet but it should tell you that there's something wrong and needs to be inspected. And if the tester indicates a reversal, an open, non-energized condition, or if one of the bulbs is on but appears kind of be dim, the user then probably ought to use a volt meter to find out kind of what's going on at that outlet. And there should be about 120 volts hot to neutral and 120 volts hot to ground. And neutral to ground should measure no more than about 3 volts. And neutral to ground voltages is greater than 3 volts at normal power frequencies are indicative of a wiring problem and should be investigated. Receptacle testers also can be used to trip a GFCI receptacle to ensure that it's working properly. And you're going to simply plug the tester into the GFCI and with both right bulbs lit, simply push the test button on the top of the tester for a minimum of six seconds. Now, usually the GFCI under test is going to trip immediately and both bulbs on the tester are going to go out but older GFCIs may take actually a little longer. Now, if both bulbs do not go out and the GFCI does not trip, it can suggest a wiring problem with a good uh, GFCI or it could be good wiring with a faulty GFCI, so you'll just have to check it out. 
And this test also requires that the outlet be wired with a functioning ground conductor. And remember, whenever you're contemplating work on your home electrical systems, you should probably consult a qualified electrician to check the condition of the wiring and the GFCIs if necessary. And if you're interested in learning more, please contact our customer service department or visit our website. Hey, thanks for watching, folks. I'm Ron with Ideal, and I will see you on the next one.